Spiritual Contemplation of Christ's Suffering, a Lenten Devotion, brought to you by Steadfast Press. Believe, teach, confess. Visit us at steadfastlutherans.org. Holy Saturday. Read Mark 15, 46 through 47. And Joseph bought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud, and laid him in a tomb that had been cut out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where he was laid. Mark 15. 46 through 47. The Virtue of Hope. What hope did the disciples have when they watched their God die and then be placed in a tomb? What hope did the mother of Jesus have when she heard her son commend her into the house of St. John? What hope did Joseph of Arimathea have? save that Jesus would be given a fitting burial after his death. In some ways, that first Holy Saturday saw a hopeless world. We know from the scriptures that after Christ rose from the dead, many of his followers didn't believe it. This is because they had no hope. Or to use the words of Christ, they were, Foolish and slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Luke 24, 25. Jesus, however, never lost hope. He demonstrated that, even in the midst of pain and suffering and anxiety, that he could hope in the God who formed his body in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Though we may find ourselves with dwindling hope, We have a perfect example in Christ Jesus, who hoped that all things would work for the good of God. And his hope was perfectly fulfilled when his blood was shed for the sins of all time and space. Christ Jesus still hopes, since it is the Father alone who knows the day of his return, that there will be a day where there is no more hunger, or thirst, or pain, or suffering, and when every tear is wiped away. O God, our Heavenly Father, as the sun begins to set this evening, we can already hear the drums, the cymbals, and the lyres making a joyful noise to the God who defeats death. Though we are about to enter into the feast which knows no law, teach us in the coming days to strive after prudence, justice, courage, and temperance. Teach us to treasure in our hearts the faith you have given us, the hope you have promised us, and above all the love that lasts into eternity. To you, O God, who raised your Son from the dead, who sent the Holy Spirit to God the Church, be all glory now and forever. Amen. Come back tomorrow for another Lenten devotion from Steadfast Lutherans.